Well, 21 years ago, I got uh, called up by the BBC for the Crime Watch. Yeah, I was running uh, an entertainment uh, agency at the time. Uh, a photo fit came through and blew us away because even the people in the office thought that it was me. This photo fit was me. Anyway, so I, I contacted the BBC and no time at all, they came straight back and said, book him. So I'd actually booked myself to go on a job. Um, when we went down to the job, I had to have me uh, me hair recolored, um, all bits and pieces cut in, uh, receding hairline and everything else, wadding in in me cheeks just to give me that square neck look, you know. Um, but when I put everything on, and we met the first client, uh, I was with a CID officer. The woman broke down; she went hysterical. She genuinely thought it was me. And I came and I've taken all the wadding out of my mouth, and I'm saying, "No, no, no, it's me. I'm just an actor." It's just too frightening. That happened another two times. But when I went down to Grantham Police Station, I got pinned up against the wall because they thought they got the guy. Um, anyway, we did the shoots and everything else. Um, 21 years passed, you just think, okay. There were a few comments when, you know, 21 years ago, people stopping you in the street. Oh, you're that murderer, aren't you? And you're just thinking, oh, you know. Well, the BBC uh, told me that they wouldn't show my face, you know, on the reenactment because I only live 15 miles down the road. Yeah, you can clearly see. I mean, I had a mate of mine ring up, shouting down the phone, mate, mate, what have you done? What have you done? And I was like, no, it's a reenactment. People just believe it, don't they? 21 years later, we get the same scenarios. Yet this time, I'm now called up to give a DNA sample. I mean, the, the one thing that really freaks me out when we were filming, I needed to um, go to the little boy's room. So I asked the director, up I go, well, I've opened the door, and as I have, the, the body's still marked out on the floor. And I'm, oh no, I felt awful. Anyway, I stepped across the body, going to the little boys, uh, doing the little boys job, when all of a sudden, I just happened to look over my shoulder. Well, of course, as I've looked over my shoulder, I've missed the pan and uh, obviously tinkled on the floor. Panicking, gone downstairs, said, oh, you know, I've done, oh, don't worry about it, it's not a problem. Well, 21 years later, they've now found <laughs> DNA. And I'm thinking, oh my goodness me, I hope that's not me. So I did actually mention this to the officer. And he said, no, 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 you know, they've, got, they've got a profile. You don't fit the profile. You're going to be all right. This will be quick and simple. Well, that was two weeks ago. I still haven't heard if I'm off that list or not yet. So, yeah, believe me, I'm, I'm still a little bit panicked. It's... I'd have thought the BBC and Crime Watch would have had the courtesy to have notified me. They notified the, the husband and, and everything else because obviously they were rerunning it. I mean, it was a big, big case, you know, I mean, the fella's still at large.